Abby, the football analyst, she is back here. So that means Manchester United will be playing tomorrow. We'll be playing, we have a league game tomorrow. We'll be playing Sheffield United at Old Trafford by 9.15 p.m. West African time. Alright, so before we continue, do not forget to click the subscribe button. Click subscribe, then like, then comment, then turn on your notification. And do not forget to follow me on all platforms, on social media platform. I'm on what I am sorry. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter as Lappy the Football Analyst. Same name everywhere. Alright, so God bless you in advance. God bless you as you continue to follow me through this journey. Thank you for your support so far. So now we go back to business, the main business. Yes, a Premier League game for Manchester United versus Sheffield. Manchester United is on first position with 40 points, while Sheffield is on 20th position with 5 points. They are the bottom on the list of the Premier League table. So surprising because last season they really tried and the season now I don't know what's wrong. The last time we played Sheffield United was 2020 and then the scoreboard was 2-3 in favour of Manchester United. Manchester United won Sheffield United in 2020. Sheffield United have lost that 19 they have lost 19 of the last 22 matches. That is really sad. In Premier League, they've lost 19 out of 22 matches in Premier League. Manchester United have been undefeated in their 13th matches in Premier League. We've been undefeated in our 13th matches. 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Undefeated. Manchester United have scored at least three goals in the last three matches against Sheffield United. We've scored at least three goals. So there's high possibility that we're going to score tomorrow. Yes, so goals are going to be a problem tomorrow. Alright, so Manchester United have won five of the last six matches against Sheffield. So, so the statistics, the match statistics is in favor of Manchester United. Eh, eh, let's move to Chelsea. Chelsea parted ways with Lampard yesterday. It's no longer a news, but it is now a new year. This actually got me thinking that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is a lucky man to to be a manager of a club that that have this loyalty. Chelsea does not have patience, like. Ole, so Ole should be so happy right now that he's in the club that cherish reality and all that. So Abramovich, the owner of Chelsea, parted ways with their club legend Lampard. So what next for Chelsea? The person that uh, Chelsea wants to pick now is Thomas Tuchel. The Thomas Tuchel have uh, managed the likes of Borussia Dortmund and also PSG. Even the try winning trophies for PSG, PSG it was dismissed last last year, 2020. It was dismissed last year. So let's see. Because I remember then Chelsea when Lampard was coming in, it was everywhere. They won't let you rest. Uh Lampard would do this, Lampard would perform only blah 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 blah. And before you know yeah, we have. So let's see what's going to happen with Thomas Teacher. So if he get appointed, I'm sure there will be something. There will be there have to be a manager because they will definitely have a match. All right. So now that is all about Chelsea news. So we are moving back to Manchester United team news. Aside from Jones and Braden, William Braden that are injured, Rashford went straight to the dressing room in our last game 
which um, against Liverpool, the FA game. When he was substituted, he went straight to the dressing room. And at the end of the match, Ole said he had issue with his new going to go for scan. So we don't know right now if Rashford is going to participate tomorrow. It's not sure. It is unlikely for him to play. Anthony Marshall should return back. Bruno might also come back to replace Van der Beek. You know, he didn't start um, the match because of the old match rotation. He was rested and he was brought in later, second half. And then he scored a super freak for us. I'm still pussing about that win against Liverpool. That it is a big thing for us. All right, so Pova, sure, Lindelof might also be benched. Cause of match rotation, yeah, they might also be benched. There's a probability that they might also be benched, and with this, to give room for Teles, Bali, and Fred to come up. So, and they get to be back in action. Dino Henderson was the one that, that was a goalie against Liverpool, so the game was also be back in action. So, now my possible lineup, my possible lineup will be 4 2 3 1 with the game as a Goalkeeper, then Wabisaka from the left side, Bali and Maguire pairing each other at the middle, at the centre back. Then we have Teles at the right, the right side. So at the midfield, I want um, Matic and Fred, and then Greenwood to should also should also because he did well the last match so. There's a possibility he's going to be there. So Greenwood as a as a left winger, then Fernandez, Marshall as a left winger, then Cavani as a striker, as a top striker. Like that is how my own lineup. That's how I want it. I want all these real to line up to, um, tomorrow. So four, two, three, one, and back to my prediction. My prediction. Is Manchester United two and Sheffield zero, and I'm backing Cavani to score. <laughs> all right, so that is all about that. So the next time you'll be seeing this face of mine is after the match. Hopefully, I'm going to come back here with all smile. Yeah, I know you always want me to smile. So please do not forget to watch to subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to place that comment, to put a comment how you want me to improve myself, what are the things you want me to do, and all that. And turn on your notification, follow me through all the social media. Remember, Lapi, the football analyst in all social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Lapi, the football analyst. Alright, so I love you guys. Thank you for your support so far. And I'll be back here. Dun, 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 dun. So, sign up.